Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you a brand new series called Sky Capsule Project, a mod pack by the mediocre modders. Well, new pack, new smell, and it smells sweet. By the way, found back my old skin, or a version of my old skin, but uh, let's get started. So, I've been looking at multiple mod pack, and I fell in love with this one. I wanted something uh more recent so this is super recent it's based more around technology and a little bit of magic not as much okay so we need to get started uh to get started i'm going to tell you a couple of things if you look at my mini map top right you can see that i'm in a plains biome when you create your world you can be in the desert you can be in an ocean you can be in a frozen ta taiga like, be careful which one you have. I, I did some tests with the frozen taiga, and these block of waters were always freezing, and there was always snow everywhere. And in a desert, there's almost never any rain. So it was like, eh, I don't want to deal with this. So I recreated it until I got something reasonable like planes. Also easier to get animals. Uh, the other things that I did is when you come right here to option controls, uh, and you look at quest, I put my open quest on the plus sign. So FTB quest, it's using FTB quest. And when I press plus, I just have access to the quest lines like this. Um, there's all of this and it's a progression tier. So there's a tier one, our journey begins, and then there's a tier two and then a tier three and then an end game. And everything's doable. This mod pack is super maintained. Uh, the two guys have a Discord, they answer things super fast, and um, the one thing I want to say about that is that even though they put EMC in, EMC is not um, overpowered in the sense that it takes just, it takes away the grindiness, uh, and it just helps you progress faster, and when you get toward the end, then things stop being EMCable. So it's been gated properly, I feel. So let's get started. First, we're going to do a little bit of reading. So Skyblock Island for server. We're not server, so we can pass that. I'm just going to quick claim it. Seeds. Seeds can be obtained in the normal Minecraft way. Harvesting grass to grow grass. Right-click bone meal on a grass block and then break it with your end. Weed seed should appear eventually. If you accidentally break all your existing grass block before getting some seeds and EMCing them, you can use the emergency item in the quest book to obtain some seeds. So we're going to be careful. We're not going to need that, but that's a good information. FTB Ultimine. Be careful when using Ultimine that you do not mine out your platform accidentally. Side note, you can also change the shape by holding the Ultimine key down and scrolling with your mouse wheel. So let's just look at that right now. We've got a tree. Let's twerk because, yeah, twerking's in it. And then when I hold the tilde key, do you see like it's, it's showing me what it's going to mine? So there's no reason really for you to mine your platform. So I'm just going to select the tree and break all of that. And everything disappears super fast. And we're getting sticks, logs, apples, and oak sapling. And all of this is EMCable, which is a term I'm going to be using a lot. Next. Uh, if you're having trouble getting water into a barrel from rain, you can create a crucible, put it over a heat source, and put a bio resource in it. Leaves or sapling work great. The resource will melt in water, which you can use to then use to make clay. Once you have iron, buckets of water can be added to the transmutation table. Great. Thank you for the information. Then twerking for trees. Oh, we've already twerked. And yes, I've disabled my sticky key because that's so annoying. Let's do that. And then... Project EMC, we have included Project E in the pack to make things easier, more fun, and reduce some of the grinds that's possible with pack. Be aware that EMC values have been modified and or removed on a lot of blocks and items. For instance, almost everything from Tier 3 and Dimensional Resource Generator have had their EMC value removed. It can't be too easy. I agree. Thank you for removing the beginning grindness and putting it so that we have fun at the end. Not an expert pack. Make sure to check the chapter rewards. Most chapters have a reward for completing them 100%. Yes, thank you. JEI will become your best friend, of course. Over, over an item, R, left click to view its recipe, blah, blah, blah. So this is the standard stuff. You can bookmark by pressing A and you just go over it. So super easy. 
I guess the quest line is completed. So here's an example. If I press A, it appeared here. If I press A again, it disappeared from here. Same stuff that we've had before. Let me put that back. And now we're done with the intro text blah blah. So if I come here, useful information optional, this is all taken care of. And those are your chapter rewards. As you finish a chapter, so let's say that I finished the basic resource chapter, I'm gonna get 64 block of iron for 2300 EMC each. So yeah, that's going to help. Once we're done with bio resource, we're gonna get a bio generator and a crusher. So like some, some nice little things just to help you along because again, this mod, it, this mod pack is made to be fun and not have to waste ton of time. We're gonna look into those a little bit later, but for now, let our journey begin. So basic resource. Basically, all of the basicness of a standard pack wants us to start with generating all of the resource. So here, you can use the set home command to set your own point. Let's do that, set home, perfect. Uh, then let's continue. We're going on an adventure, punch a tree. Hammer, cobble, gravel, sand, dust. Hey, standard stuff. Craft a tinker melter. Yes, don't worry. Even though Ex Nihilo is in this pack, you won't be doing any sieving. Thank you. I wanted something different. Your main form of resource generation will be the custom resource capsule. EMC through Project E, resourceful bees, and mystical agriculture. Cool. So we've read this. Bread and transmutation table. Oh, I didn't grab the quest up. Uh, click them. And let's just get started. So I'm going to put this right here for now. And everything's EMCable. Get it EMC'd immediately. We're going to get a sapling back. We're going to get an oak log back. And we're going to transform that into plank. EMC them. Like just, just EMC everything. Crafting table. EMC it. Crafting table. Uh, let's put it right there for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up oh, eight. We're going to make a chest. And guess what? We're going to MC that also. Reason I'm making a chest is I don't want to have these stuff on me. So I'm just going to go right here and get rid of this for now. Perfect. Okay. Other thing I want. Um, okay. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to make a crook like so, which I'm going to EMC. And then I'm going to grab four crook, which I'm going to put in here and make a compressed crook, EMC it, grab it again, and voila. Perfect. So now we're going to get our second tree. And this time we're going to till that and get this and get a lot more sapling and some silkworm. And then we're just going to till that and take care of the tree. We're going to regrow a tree immediately. And this is important. It's something very important I want to show you. These silkworm are not EMCable, not a problem. Let's just put everything that is in there and voila, I'm keeping one sapling in case and I have 1300 uh, EMC. Let's just change weight of vision so that we can see the tree while we're doing the rest. Okay, so now it wants us to make all of these resource and it wants us to get cobblestone. Well, getting cobblestone is easy. Uh, I'm going to do one thing that I'm not going to EMC. So one, two, one, two, three. Uh, I don't want to have the um, the wood tool. So I'm not going to EMC them because that's going to be a waste of my time. I'm gonna grab these four first and they've provided us, us with this nice little cobblestone generator. And I've decided I'm gonna leave that in the middle of the island for the whole uh, play true. Oh, yeah, okay. D don't go in lava. That was really dumb. And voila. But then I can do this. Oh. And of course, EMC, EMC, EMC everything. And now I can get three of those. And two of those. And make a cobblestone pickaxe. Voila. Now, you know what? Let me just grab a little bit more EMC. And oh, I'm also not going to EMC the uh, cobblestone tools. Uh, no, I'm going to EMC those. So let's EMC those. 
because you know what can be useful i'm not sure i want to spend the cost of iron so let's get rid of that and let's use a crook on this look at this this is the emc powerhouse in the beginning this is 12 emc per string so right now we've just doubled our emc um oop, i forgot to use the ultimate key so grab all of this and start the next one and i'm just going to use two silkworm for now okay so because of that i now have enough emc to grab 64 cobblestone i can come right here grab 64 stone and stone is also just one emc i'm going to show it in here i've learned stone I'm going to grab another stack and i want to do this because i'm going to be building my island with stone brick and i don't know are those yes those are emcable also so stairs this and this voila so now we're going to be able to make beautiful like build a whole structure super easily you know what let me grab a couple of these and introduce you to some other nice things uh no, i already have a stack so first off we're going to make a compressed cobblestone and then we're going to make a stone wand and then we're going to make a stone hammer then we're going to show all of this in here let me grab again the stone hammer i'm going to grab nine of them one two three four five six seven eight nine and i'm going to grab two compressed cobblestone i don't know why two by the way one would have been enough i think and i'm just going to get a compressed stone hammer which i'm also going to emc immediately and then we can get started with the other type of resource generation so ultimine with the compressed hammer which is going to give us gravel oh yeah that's why so i'm doing two at a time because i can do one compressed gravel come in here throw both of them in here and now we know how to make compressed gravel and gravel and if i come back to here oh they it wants 27 so let's just come here and go voila and throw all of that back in here and we can go oh wow okay don't stand too close when shifting putting it down because apparently it makes some weird thing like i don't know what happened here let's do this and this so that we can grab these two quest. well that quest let's come back here gather 27 cents perfect you know what i kind of forgot a little thing so let me do one thing quickly we're gonna make two furnace one two emc and the other one to put on the other side right here and oh is this ready yeah always be gathering emc like this is really important in the beginning so more emc like that and i'm going to need an oak sapling and on the next one so i'm still going to use a silkworm on this one but then on the next one i'm going to make a normal tree so that i can grow the tree so the reason i did that is now i want to come here and i want to make some charcoal and then i'm going to want to make some glass <clears throat> let's just wait for that charcoal that we're going to of course emc grab back again and put that right here we don't need to make stone because we've already made stone uh we haven't made sand though uh dust so let's go like this and let's make press send i guess i need two i don't know how i did that but it worked so whatever let's ultimine that into some dust and let's make a compressed dust block put that all in there then we're going to come back here and grab the glass that we're also going to come put in there and then i'm going to grab a stack of sand a stack of dust a stack of glass that should be three quests so dust oh i have to get used to not pressing escape and glass and voila so we can throw 
all of that back in here. And then we're going to make some compressed ground. So I'm going to need three compressed dust, three compressed gravel, and three compressed sand. Uh, where is the compressed sand? Well, <laughs> okay. I guess I never emc the compressed sand. I'm not sure how I didn't do that, but not a problem. Let's compress it and throw it in there. And now we're going to be able to grab the recompressed sand. One, two, three. Perfect. And this is crafted. I think it's sand, gravel, and then dust. Or it's dust, gravel, and sand. Voila, compressed grout that we're going to teach the system and then claim the quest, which gives us two more that I can show in there. And is this? Yep, this is finished. Let's grab this and this. And again, show it all in the EMC system. As you can see, you know what? So the compressed crook, there's no point like really showing GC. A compressed crook is 64. This is seven. So it does lose value. The only reason I'm replacing it right now is that I wanted to grab all the resource at once. I don't want to be stuck in a situation where it breaks and I need to make another one. So usually when it gets too damaged, I just kill it and make a new one. But let's put all of this and then we can grow another one back. And we're going to have another silkworm. More silkworm, I mean. Perfect. Let's put that right there, right there, right there. And we're going to cook a silkworm. Uh, that's going to be a form of food. I'm, I think it's a bit better than an apple, although like an apple is 128 EMC. And how much is the bread? So the apple is 128. Oh, no. Never eat the apples. Always eat the bread. Apparently, this is the best way of doing this. So the bread is 72 EMC. And wow, like it's so much better that way. Let's continue. Perfect. So I've been rushing. And by the way, this was the crook asked us to make a crook. I just kind of forgot to show you. They were talking about silk. Oh, and I also, if we have string, then it means we can do this. And can we make cobweb in this? Ooh, no, I don't want to make string mesh. You know what? Let's just throw that back in there. And I'm going to grab one, two, three, and one, two, three. We're going to make a bed and we're going to EMC the bed and we're going to put down the bed. I'm not sure I'm going to need to sleep in this series. I'm just going to make a bed in like now it's night. Let's just sleep like I'm on a tiny island. It doesn't matter and I don't have to look far. So if I need to, I can sleep, but it's not like a requirement. Let me grab this. Yo, and oh, I was pressing one instead of tilde. That's why. He's like, why is it changing my selection? That's a bizarre thing. So let's just grow a tree again. Ah, oh, that's going to be an annoying tree. Ugh, it just put me under the tree. That, that's why it looked bizarre like that. So let's put all of that. We're almost at 10,000 EMC. And now we can get started. So here it wants us to make some dirt. So we can put... Like, I could grab one of those, and if I'm lucky, be able to grab it and put it in the EMC. But for that, we're going to uh, do a couple of the things that we're supposed to do. Like, we're going to create the first dirt the proper way with a barrel. And then we're going to EMC all of this. Let's grab a barrel that we're going to put right here. And uh, shears are, uh, wood shears are a thing in this mod pack, so let's just make wooden shears like this and of course we're going to emc them so i'm going to grab the shears i'm going to is this finished transforming i think so oh, nope it wasn't finished now it's finished let's kill the tree putting new sapling and this time we want leaves so shift right click kill the whole shears wow and then we can put this and we're going to use eight leave in here to make our first dirt. And of course, throw 
everything else in the EMC machine. Like so. We're going to grow that tree ASAP. I want some more. I always need to be making more EMC. So that always has to be priority number one. Wow, this one doesn't want to grow. Is there anything in the way? Nope. Oh, I was expecting like a giant tree because often when it takes really long to uh, grow, it's because it's going to be a giant tree. Wasn't it this time? But I kind of assumed that it would be because of how it was reacting. Let's go like this and like this. Perfect. Show everything else in the EMC machine. Um, you know what? Let's rearrange things a little bit. Okay, gonna grab some bread because now I'm hungry. The Ultimine does make you hungry a lot. Okay, so do we have our first piece of dirt? Yes. Oh, that would have been bad. So one dirt right here means now we have infinite dirt and voila. That gives us eight more. And what I'm going to do right now is grab one charcoal and cook some dirt. This is, well, I kind of accelerated, but this is the 27 sear brick. Sear brick is made how? It's made by cooking grout or cooking dirt. So yeah, I'm gonna be cooking dirt, which is going to give us a brick that I can put in here. And now I can grab a stack of seared brick. Oh, that's really the trick in the beginning. Just throw everything in the EMC machine. And you know what? I'm going to need some bricks. So let's grab bricks and glass. And this is done. Wow. Oh no, see? I forgot to replace the crook, just like I, I told you. And now it did like a partial break. So it's not the end of the world, but it's annoying, which is why I usually always try to be careful and put the next one, like replace the crook the moment I have. Can you please get in? Well, okay, so it's going to be one for infestation. Okay, so let's get back to questing. Things are progressing really fast. And the reason for that is I'd like to get to the first time of resource generation by the end of this episode, because in my time lapse, I'm going to be growing the island in preparation for this, the next episode. So if we continue here, now it's going to ask us to make a seared melter. So we're going to need a seared melter, a seared casting table, a seared faucet, and a seared heater. So let's search for seared... So we're going to want a seared casting table, like so. Then we're going to want a seared faucet. And all of these things are EMCable, so we're going to throw it in the EMC machine for sure. Seared eater, and then what was the last thing? I feel like it's hidden. Nope. This one, no. Ingot gauge. Seared, seared melter right here. Oh, which means I need a seared gauge. Let's make two because again, it's EMCable. And let's make this and voila. So now we're going to put that in, like, let's put all of this back and then search for seared. We want one of this, one of this, one of this, one of this. And we're going to want some grout. We're going to want 10 to be exact, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, perfect. And now let's first claim the quest, no reward, of course. And then the next step is craft your first mini resource fragment tier one. Pour 1000 millibucket, so one bucket of molten grout from the smeltery melter on an empty casting table. So we're going to put this right here, and this right here, this right here, and this right here. I'm going to need some charcoal. Eee, that's a lot of charcoal. You know what? I only need, I don't need that much. And we're going to put three. We're going to, while we're waiting, work on this tree. Hmm. That's a conundrum. So let me just grab this. I don't know if it's that it had not finished uh, transforming or if it's just that 
it was too high but you know what we're going to do we're going to step up to it and let's grab the rest nope not escape uh not one either the tilde key is something that I haven't used in the whole last mod pack, so I'm going to have to re-get used to uh, doing that. So let's get rid of all of this, this, this. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so happy with this. The fact it's going to make things just so much easier to begin with. So let's put here and here, and let's continue with melting our grab. So that's going to be three, six nine and then the last one and we're going to get our first new little resource thing in my bobby so that's one uh one full bucket that we're going to throw in there and we're going to make our first resource generation donut because that's what they look like so this is the tier one mini catalyst that is emcable so we're going to put it in here and grab it right back but that's not what you, well, you need that to make the resource, but what you really need is this, advancement, tier one resource generator. We need to craft a tier one resource generator, which is made from four cobblestone, uh, two dirt, two compressed compulda stone, and a compressed dirt. So uh, let's go to cobblestone and dirt, and we're going to do compressed dirt. You know what let's just compressed one two and compressed cobblestone one two three let's grab four don't remember what was the exact crafting recipe but it's going to be easy right now tier one generation oh not this one this one um yeah i have to be on the right thing so let's craft this and it is, of course, EMCable. So I can grab a second one. You know what? I'm going to grab a second. Do I have enough? Three, four, yes. Four, yes, perfect. And don't worry, I'm going to rearrange everything later. But for now, I'm going to go one, two, three. Nope, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Let's grab that back. And oh, you. Mm. you cheeky bastard <clears throat> let's not use bad words perfect let's put one in here one in here one in here and one in here and these are going to generate these tier one resource capsule which is the next part of the quest we need nine of them which is kind of why i made so many of these because we're going to need a lot and i don't want to be wasting time waiting for this because it's not that fast and since we have emc by the way this is not emcable okay so this is going to be another way that we're generating emc uh passively well not passive well automated so that we don't have to always be uh cutting down trees like in the beginning it's the absolute best to get us started asap but in the long run it's not a good idea so let's claim this reward and nope we don't even need to eat so we're going to throw that in there and let's look at what it wants us to do so now it wants us to generate all of these resources okay so let's go to the crafting table and let's shift right click on this and then we can make tin with this so let's make tin grab all of this back then let's make some redstone let's grab all of this back then let's make some iron Let's grab all of this back, and I need more tier one capsule for the rest of the resource. Oh, wow. I'm so happy that I made four because look at how good this is. And then we're going to continue. So we did this, these two. We did this. We need the copper nuggets. Perfect. Then, oh, then we need, what's the next one? The bone meal. Perfect. Then we need, I think it's the last one now the coal and voila perfect so these are all of the resource type that we can generate with tier one which means we're oh th it wants us to make three bone meal i don't know why but okay so let's make two more bone meal that i'm going to keep on the side here for a good reason so these are all the resource that we can generate and let me show you why um nope 
I forgot to grow the tree. Let me just go back to the tree because I need to make sure I'm always making EMC for now. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just do this one like this so that we get more, uh, more silkworms. Oh, I gotta stop pressing one. That's the pressing. <laughs> yeah, my word game's just wrong. Okay, so let's just regrow this tree, put some silkworm in it, and let's continue with our adventure. Now I'm going to explain exactly what I wanted to explain. The reason I put those two bone meal apart is that these, so these top resource are all three. Okay, sorry, let's do it this way. So these resource, this resource takes one capsule. So one capsule equals 24 EMC. These resource require three capsule and it gives 14 EMC each. So it's 14 EMC per capsule. This is better. This one needs five for 60, uh, but it gives us 192. And this one needs eight. It gives us 192, which means that the clear winner is coal. Okay, so coal for tier one resource is the best EMC generator. So since we have a EMC table in the beginning, we don't need to be making these, uh, we don't need to be making all of these resources. What we need to be making is the most, uh, the, the resource that gives us the most EMC. Because right now, if I take this and I throw all of this in here, we're now at 25,000 EMC. I'm gonna grab a stack of this, a stack of this, what else? A stack of iron, copper, tin, well, perfect. So the reason I'm going to do that is that I'm going to transform all of this into ingots. Oh, it's not enough, I need more than a stack. Well, whatever, let's put it all together so that we can make the blocks of everything, or in this case, the ingots. And then we can throw all of this in the system, and now we can go nine of these, nine of these, and nine of these. And what we're going to do again is make block of these so that we never have to make the blocks again. We can just EMC when we need a block. Oh, like this and like this. Throw it in the system and EMC them. And yo, I know it's kind of weird, but now we're going to grab nine block of iron, which we're going to make a compressed iron block. We're going to need that at some point. Don't remember why, but I know we're going to need it. You cannot do that with the tin, but you can do it with the copper. So now I'm gonna need also nine copper block so that I can make a compressed copper block. I also want to make the same thing with redstone. So now let's show this in here and we're going to need three more. We can also make compressed redstone like this and put that in there. Perfect. Let's take a small break to grab some more EMC and then we're going to continue with the next part of the adventure. Just grow the tree. I'm sorry if I'm doing this instead of a time lapse, but I need EMC to be able to progress. And that's really the fastest and easiest with, oh, whenever I get one of these trees next time, I'm just going to blow it up immediately because this is annoying. So let me come back here and grab my next sapling. Perfect. Now we can look at the next quest. Next quest is automated crafting. It wants us to make a sequential fabricator. It's gonna get us an item pipe, a pipe wrench, a sterling dynamo, and all of these are EMCable. So sequential fabricator, ooh, we're gonna need the gears. We're gonna need the machine frame and the tin gears. Okay, so let's go right here and tin gears are made with four tin. Copper gears are made with four copper. Oh, four, four. Uh, I don't know if there's iron gear in there, but I'm going to grab one just in case. And we're going to need some iron nuggets. So basically the iron nuggets goes in the middle. And this is a copper gear. And this is a tin gear. And this is an iron gear. And we're going to throw all of those in there. Perfect. Now I'm going to need a tin gear. Four iron or four tin. I'm not sure. So I'm going to grab four of each. 
and four glass, and we're going to make the machine frame. One, two, three, four. And let's make the, you know what? Let's search for it. We're going to make a sequential fabricator and it's going to be easier that way, yeah. Machine frame like this, and we're going to teach our machine. So we're gonna need a machine frame. We're going to need two copper gear. One, two, a compressed redstone block. Perfect. There's an easier recipe with that, but we haven't unlocked gold yet, so we can't do that. Two tin ingot and a crafting table. Two tin ingot. And we emc the crafting table also. So now we can just go like this and make a sequential fabricator and grab the crest reward. Come in here and throw all of this in the quest reward thing. So we're going to need one sterling dynamo. Um, we're going to need a couple of pipes. We're going to need a... Hmm, what's the other thing? We're going to need... I don't know where the wrench went. Wrench? Yeah, the pipe wrench. And you know what? I want to craft something else. So I'm going to come right here. Grab an old chest and some planks. We're going to be making a drawer because drawers are amazing. I always love drawer. So let's go like this. And of course, we're going to EMC the drawer because why not? And then we can grab two drawers. And let's just go do a quick setup right now. Okay. So right now, I'm going to grab the pipes. like this. I'm going to put a drawer right here. And then using the wrench, you just shift right click and it turns into a grab, grab, grab and grab. And we're now automatically pulling out the resource capsule that I can just go and click and get for now. So we're going to don't worry, we're going to automate that I just want to give myself some more EMC to work with. And yeah, I'm gonna grab the old drawer. So here we have a little dilemma, okay? We have coal, which is 64 EMC, and we have charcoal, which is 16 EMC each. If you put in a sterling dynamo one coal, it will produce power faster and more power than one charcoal. But four charcoal is gonna produce three and a half times the power of coal. And since our sequential fabricator doesn't need to be super fast in the beginning, I'm going to grab a fabricator and we're going to do another little setup. And you know what? Right now, unfortunately, I have to expand the island a little bit. So we're going to grab a stone wand. I would prefer not to do that on camera, but I just need to expand it a little bit. So I'm going to come right here, hold shift to be careful and just do this and then use the wand. <sighs> the mediocre mo modders, thank you so much for doing this. This is a must in every sky base mod pack. Like the fact that I can just easily expand like this is amazing. So let's put this right here. We're going to put the sequence. Yeah, that's not where I wanted to put you. Let's just break you. Oh, I love the sounds in this mod pack. And now it's not connecting. Why? Because this needs to be set to input. And I'm going to set this one to output with auto output. And when we have auto output, we don't need a pipe. We can just auto output like this. And then I'm going to go. I want to make the coal one like this. Click it. And now it's going to... Oh, I need to connect it. So now it's going to start drawing from the drawer into the sequential fabricator, but the sequential fabricator needs power. So now we're just going to um, how do I, I don't know, uh, how do I wrench it? The wrench, like this wrench, oh, this wrench, doesn't turn things around. Can I make the other wrench? The it's not called a wrench. 
what's the tool? There's a tool in Thermal at Thermal Foundation. And it's, uh, I never remember how it's called. I'm just, this one right here. The Crescent Hammer. Iron gear and iron. Perfect. Give me that. Uh, iron. Iron gear and three iron. Perfect. Let's craft it. Like this. Crescent Hammer. And now, technically, I think I can come here and... Yes, perfect. And like I said... We're going to put some coal, charcoal in it, and it's automatically inputting power right here in the sequential fabricator, which is making coal, which is sending coal right here, and we've now automated the first step of our EMC production. So the idea, I'm, I don't know how fast this is going, but I think that in my test, I found that four tier one resource generator was producing tier one resource fast enough, but I had a backlog, so... Mm, no, it's going down. Okay, so I'm for sure going to need to add some more, but that's something I'm going to rearrange in the time lapse. Uh, let's just come right here and check so I can explain to you what I want to do next. Okay, so uh, now that we have all of that, uh, let me show you a cheeky way of doing things, okay? I'm going to grab some um, iron, like so, and... I'm going, to, if you remember, it said that we could EMC a bucket of something. So first I'm going to EMC the bucket and then I'm going to grab these two buckets and I'm going to go, give me the lava, give me the water and I can EMC lava and water. So now I can just come back and put that right back there okay so we've got the lava we've got that okay so mm, yeah next thing is the stone barrel so now we're going to grab some stone well a redstone some stone and we're going to go like this and like this And of course, we're going to EMC all of that. So let's grab a lava bucket, stone barrel. You know what? I'm going to grab two lava buckets and I'm going to grab a water bucket and I'm going to grab a stone barrel. Perfect. So let's go look at the quest. No reward for that, but now it wants us to make nether rack. How do you make nether rack? Well, you make it with lava and redstone. So I'm going to put this right here, lava in it, redstone in it, and grab this, go to the EMC table, and of course, EMC it. Now it wants us to make clay. So clay is water and dust. So I'm gonna put that back in. And I'm going to go grab a dust, grab a water. I'm going to go water and voila. So I'm going to EMC the clay. Grab, whoa, not three stacks. Grab just one stack. Oh, the stone slabs are not EMCable. Well, that's sad, but whatever. It's not important. And I'm going to grab this clay and break it. Oh, okay. So it needs to be breaking manually. And yeah, the clay balls are EMCable. Perfect. So now I'm going to need another water bucket right here. And if I come back to this little thing, oh, we're almost done with everything. Okay, so I'm going to put lava right here and then I'm going to do this. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Put the water. Now we're going to fix my mistake. Like so. And we also grab an obsidian, which is also EMCable. And I'm just going to check quickly. I think obsidian can be compressed. I'm not sure. No, obsidian cannot be compressed. Okay, so let's just throw all of this back in there. And since we're here, might as well grab the tree because this small tree, like I said, in the future, when it's a small tree, I'm always going to just kill it instead of... Uh, putting the uh, silkworm on it. 
But technically, like I'm going to do this one last one, but from now on, technically my source of EMC is this. I come here, I grab all of this coal, and let's come back here. And if I look at my transmutation tablet, 20,000, 40,000. <laughs> yeah, that's really great. That's how we're going to be making our resources in the beginning. Oh, so we're almost done with the first quest line. But before we go further, well, no, this is going to be the end of the episode, but we're going to talk about the animal bait, okay? So right now, the rest of the quest line wants us to get some cat leather, which is from cow. Using cow bait near water, grass, and a tree will allow cows to spawn. Pets, pet one gently with a sword or your fist to get leather. Then it wants us to get feather. Chicken bait allows chicken to spawn. Do what you must to get their feather. And then egg, which is made from chicken essence or is going to be dropped by a chicken. So basically, to complete this quest line, we need these three resources. This is something, and you know what? Let me just grab some bone meal so I can show you what we're going to do. And then we can grab this. Nope. Like this and this. You know what? Uh, let's make a watering can. Watering can. Watering can is... Wait, huh, there's this one and I don't, you know what, let's make the copper one. So I'm going to need a bucket and four copper. Uh, bucket and one, two, three, four, uh, I think five copper. So like this, perfect. And yeah, EMC it of course, because if it's EMCable, always EMC it. So watering can, grab it back and fill it with water. Whoa. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I made the right. So there's two watering can. Yeah, that's not the one I want. This one is better because this one is infinite water. So I'm gonna need four iron, a bowl. Okay, so four iron. Four uh, iron. One, two, three, four. I have the bone meal already. I'm gonna need some planks. Then we can come right here. We're going to make the bowls, which are EMCable. Cool, I'm happy about that. This, and we have rain. Okay, and now we need to do something. Uh, options. Music and sound. Oh, I'm going to put the master volume to 50. I'm going to put the weather to 20%. And that's okay for now, I think. You know what? Friendly creature. I'm going to bring you down. Ambient environment. I'm going to bring you down. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So now I need more water. We're going to replace the water and put the watering can in there. So I think that that watering can is better because see now it didn't grab the block of water and oh, I need, I wanted it to grow the brass, but I guess I don't need to anymore. Okay, so let me show you something else that I'm also going to do in my time lapse. Here for bio, oh no, not bio resource. That's not what I'm going to, okay, so sorry. In my time lapse, I'm going to be hitting some grass like this. Just using bone mill and hitting grass because that's going to give us seeds. Uh, I haven't gotten one of the good seed that I want. I just want a regular seed for now. And of course, it's... Did I get one? Yes, I got one. Perfect. So let me show you now. So this... These seeds from Thermal Cultivation are not EMCable, the immersive one either, but the wheat seed are. So, wheat. I'm gonna grab a couple. And if you come right here and you do this, it makes chicken bait. So now I can EMC the chicken bait, and now I'm gonna have chicken bait whenever I want to. Let me show you two things. First, the baits. There are all of those. The one I'm gonna need is the cow bait, 
which needs two wheat, which means I'm going to need to grow some wheat. And then, you know what? I'm going to need a hoe. Uh, two sticks. And you know what? I'm going to keep a stack of cobblestone on me because it's useful. I'm going to grab a hoe and I'm going to put it in here. Give me back the hoe. Do this and let's plant this and let's grow it immediately and voila so both of those things are emcable now i can grab two wheats and go right here and voila we now have cow bait okay so as i was saying in my time lapse i'm going to expand the island okay what I, my plan is the following. This side is going to be farm and animals. This side is going to be resource generation. So once the island is expanded this way, this setup is going to be moved to the other side, side ASAP. Down there is going to be the mob farm. And on this side is going to be all of the miscellaneous stuff. Uh, like the EMC table, the crafting table, the oak barrel and the stone barrel, the furnace, the the thinkery, everything that's like miscellaneous stuff. Resource generation, crafting and miscellaneous machines, mob farms in the end, and here would be like kind of a park, a nice little place. So I'm gonna expand the island on, during the time lapse and right here, so this is going to be a long episode because the time lapse when I come back, I'm really going to have four side to the island ready to, uh, well, the mob part, no, I'm not gonna do the mob part, sorry. I'm gonna expand this side for to move everything there and put my resource generation here. And then I'm going to have my part there and I'm going to be using the uh, wand. By the way, I wanna show you something amazing. When I'm going down, do you see like a little plus sign? Look at my arrow, it's a plus and then there's gonna be brackets around. When you do this, you build under yeah that's epic so i'm going to make my whole floor two level and the reason i'm going to make it two level is that i don't want flowing water and if i need to put flowing water like it said in the farm or to get the animals i want to be able to be like this where i can have oh <laughs> stone brick so i want to be able to have like this and be able to put water without it being flowing. So this is absolutely something I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to be removing these cobblestone and I'm going to be expanding the grass this way because I want to make sure that I have a big grass. Oh, by the way, need torch? Grab one. Oh, grab one. EMC it. And then we got torches. So this makes it so that building your island in the beginning is super simple. Well, this is definitely the way to go. So in my time lapse, I'm going to be expanding the island and I'm going to be using bone meal so that I can get all of these seed. I want to get like the amaranth, the barley, the corn, flax, all of these seeds because frost melon I don't think I can get because I think frost melon is something special that we need to make. In my test world, I was never able to get a frost melon. So maybe it's something based on where we are in the world. Like I'm really not sure. You know what? Let's go sleep. I think that's going to remove the rain. Yes. Uh, no. It didn't stop the rain. Yes, it did. Sorry. Okay. So I'm going to make sure that I get all of the seeds and I'm going to make an animal pen Two, well, two animal pen, one to get two cows and one to get two chicken so I can breed them and so that I can, in the next episode, try and get, like, finish this quest line with this tree material. In the next episode, we're going to work on the Tinker chapter and the bio resource. And if we have time, maybe get started a little bit with the rope to steel. But guys, this is an exciting mod pack. I'm super happy to be starting this new mod pack and knowing that it's one that I can complete, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.